Hi everyone, my name is Sam Abbasi and I am a technical evangelist with Algorand. Uh, today I'll be showing you how to use Sandbox, which is a, a great new tool to create and configure um, Algorand nodes using, using Docker. Uh, so here is a repository here, it's uh, github.com forward slash Algorand forward slash Sandbox. Uh, this is our Algorand uh, organization if you're not familiar. Um, here you can find our SDKs as well as um, other, other, other tooling. So I've already Git cloned Sandbox which is here. So if you haven't done so already, just go ahead and get clone it. Um, and once that's complete, let's take a look at what the sandbox options are. So you can run up, down, restart, enter, clean, test, uh, as well as some typical um, algorithm commands, which are logs, status, and then you can pass any argument into goal like you traditionally would. So to get a node up and running, what you run is sandbox up, which is just this. Now I've already done so, so I'm not gonna do that again but it's uh, sandbox up. Now you can pass in either testnet, uh, mainnet, or betanet. You can also pass in this .s flag, which means, so for instance, if I was doing uh, sandbox up mainnet, uh, I would pass a .s flag, which will download the, download the entire blockchain from the beginning, from inception, um, instead of downloading it from a snapshot that's hosted in Amazon S3, which is what will happen if you don't have the .s flag. And that will simply get you caught up to whatever uh, the blockchain or the ledger is at currently, um, which is just a quicker way to get up and running um, on, on any network here. So once that's complete, uh, you can do things like sandbox logs, which is what I have going on here. Uh, this is just the Carpenter debugging tool that you should be familiar with if you've used Algorand before. Let's see what else we can do. Sandbox help. So like I said, uh, you can run any kind of, uh, uh, you can pass any kind of argument into goal like you traditionally would. So for instance, goal node status, see the status of blocks, and uh, that should spit out status. Uh, or you can do so simply by running sandbox uh, status, which is indicated here. Same thing. So to uh, take down a node, you just run sand, uh, sandbox down, and what that does is it will uh, it will tear down the sandbox environment. Um, it won't delete the container, it won't delete your node, it'll simply stop it. So when you want to get back up and running, you run sandbox up. And that should start it again. The difference here is that it'll start it uh, back up from where you stopped it. So in a sense, uh, if you run Sandbox down and you don't run Sandbox up for quite some time, uh, when you do run Sandbox up, it'll just take a couple seconds or minutes, depending on how far back you've been, for it to catch up with the rest of the network, either mainnet, testnet, or betanet. To completely stop and delete the containers, you can just run clean. And test will uh, ping the different APIs, so Sandbox, test uh, will hit both uh, AlgoD and KMD and also run, in this case, goal node status, just so you can test and make sure it works. Another neat feature that I wanna show you before we um, tune out is introduction, the introduction command. So this is under the tutorials feature, which is more experimental, but this is uh, interesting in that it, uh, it, it gives you kind of a more intuitive way to get started with Algorand, which includes um, some of the more important commands like goal node status, um, as well as creating wallets and accounts, funding those accounts, and also transacting with those accounts. So what you do here uh, is, this gives you the introduction of what uh, the tutorial is, and then what the current, um, the current thing is that you're, that you're doing. To move on to each next step, simply uh, copy and paste or type out uh, and run whatever is inside of these brackets. So this is asking you to take a look at the status. So let's run that, sandbox goal node status. And the next thing now is to create a wallet. So let's go ahead and do this wallet list. Now, I believe I've already made a couple wallets. Um, no, I haven't actually. Okay, great. Uh, so now you uh, now it's asking you to create a wallet. So again, copy and paste, sandbox goal wallet new, type in the name of the wallet. I'll call it wallet one, two, three, four, two, three, four. Uh, I do not want to see my mnemonic. Great, and uh, and now we can now if we run if we run sandbox goal wallet list we should see that wallet created here. Uh, now it wants us to create an account, so let's do that. Um, so it's sandbox goal account new. Let's do that. Password for the wallet. Now I th believe it wants us to create two, so let's run that command again. Now you can run run any command uh, here that you would like. Uh, the only difference is is that to move on to the next step, uh, again, you, you just have to run the command that's inside of the brackets here. So let's do that again, and uh, and we can run goal account list. 
Great. So now we see our two different our two different wall, uh, accounts. So uh, just run through the rest of the rest of the tutorial, um, and that will eventually um, prompt you to fund the accounts and also transact with the accounts. The last thing I wanted to show you is uh, what is called sandbox enter the sandbox enter command. This will throw a shell onto sandbox. So now you can interact with this like you typically would if you were running um, an Algorand node the traditional way without using uh, sandbox. Great, so that's sandbox. Um, please refer to the repository on GitHub and uh, submit feature requests so we can make this tooling um, better and more efficient. Thank you very much. <laughs>